Hello guys, this is me Pricey and I'm here with the 5th episode of the Zipcrowd server let's play. And since last episode I've done quite a bit of progress. So what you can see is I shaped out this tunnel a bit more. This is just a small thing I did. Also I moved all the chests from back there to over here. So this is a bit more organized now. But still I got some random chests lying around here so <laughs> yeah. Also, I did another path. Yeah, that's true. I did something, and I think this is just something basic because I I was fed up with walking on the Neverag and all that stuff. I wanted to have something permanently. Permanent? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's permanent. And this is what I came up with. It's just some ice. This thing is too high. I am still thinking about adding trapdoors here. But other than that, up here, you can see I added slabs and the glass back there. So this is the following reason: when horses are getting um, are getting released in the 1.6 update, which is gonna be out pretty soon, then I can use this path with my horse too because stairs and all that stuff. You don't get any suffocation damage, which is pretty nice. Also, I looked around and found a snow biome right next to my place so just about 30 blocks so in a never nothing too bad and furthermore I was collecting never eh, not never um river skulls and we're gonna do that battle in a moment got four eh, 12 no wait 16 skulls so four beacons in total and also one thing I want to address the texture pack you showed me so I asked for it last episode and you gave me an answer that was pretty amazing how many comments I got so thanks for that a lot and as you can see I'm still using faithful so most of you people of you guys you wanted faithful some of you wanted the red craft texture pack I also took a look into that but I gotta say I like faithful more and also, oh sorry for that, one last thing is that um, I couldn't record anything lately because I was ill, maybe you can still hear it a bit, sorry for that. Also I was pretty busy with school, I had like tests going on all, all the way, I had like one test per week, sometimes even two or three for the last eight weeks or so, and still I got three more tests in the next weeks. So that's something that still makes me busy a bit. But other than that, I'm ready and I can record again. So let's go. That was a bit of a fail I did there with the placing of the skulls, but I'm back. As you can see, three never stars and one beacon. Yes, Philip, so Code Raider, grabbed one of the st stars and directly crafted it into a beacon. And he <laughs> just trolled me a bit. It was kind of fun, but I'd say we now should craft the rest of them. So, first thing we're gonna need is, of course some glass and back there the obsidian it should be in this chest so one to three one to three one to three so nine obsidian and now this stuff and the beacons and without further ado I'd say I just need some iron which should be there so there we go. And 
I want the beacons to be just in perfect range of each other, so they're, they're like one block overlapping. Since this is all centered on one block instead on of on a two by two area, so this would be like one line in each direction is overlapping of, with the effects, and it should be all centered on this block. So what I'm gonna do now is the following: I'm gonna go out into each direction until um, the effect doesn't work anymore. So, for example, I don't get the haste effect anymore. So when I go into this direction should be like following probably like this haste is still applying to my character if I go there now to this block still but if I go here should probably be out of range already this should be about the line as I yeah you see no more haste so I should go to this block and I'm gonna do the same thing for this direction this direction and on the other side the same until I get the exact, exact corner and then we'll meet again when I've built all four pyramids for the beacons. So, see you just in a moment when I'm done with that. And I'm done. So, let's go first into this direction. And I'd say to the left. Back there, as you can see, this is the first pyramid I prepared. And it's actually already prepared for five beacons, so you know my plan now. Oh, the only thing which I forgot is apparently the ceiling up there, so let me quickly do this. Okay, second try. So what I did is I placed the cobblestone fences all the way from the beacons up to the sunlight. Since we're in the ocean, I had to go to, uh, through quite a few of water. And as you can see, this one is already working. So this is what I did. Up there you can see there is the light or at the moment not because it's night so doesn't matter so first thing you want to do is of course haste to done and now we should get back here haste effect even though resistance we are out of range okay that works now let's get to the next one back there you should already see it so just the place of the second one same here haste two done and now I'll just show the other two beacons where they should go to and then of course the one which is up there in the middle we can remove that or replace it with another effect but before, I need some more iron, so that should be enough. And the zombie pigman is back there. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna kill him soon, or him. And, oh yeah, here you can see it. The, st the stronghold library is gone too. And I'm walking a bit too far away. This is the right way. <laughs> So, same here, even though, wait, no, it's all okay, this is cobblestone, just thought, what, did I build 3x3 cobble fence, but everything seems to be right. Okay, and now the haste 2 thing, works fine too, hopefully, and back there is the last one. So let me quickly get over there. Yes, perfect. <laughs> it's the last one, and this was probably pretty fast until it recognized that it has access to sunlight, and it's set up now too. And now let's just go back to the spawner. there and we can set up the other one with, some, with something else which I don't know yet what do we want to have there this resistance one this is the haste one I guess for now um, 
jump boost to no let's let's do speed two done awesome this is perfect maybe I'm gonna replace this with the jump boost later on but for now this should be okay and the next thing is the rooms I for the design I just want to show you something so yeah let's go okay so here we are this is the room and I got four designs prepared for you so all in all I got some basic spruce wood border going around here and some sort of structure and birch wood and grass in the middle of the room with some redstone lamps as lighting but the more important thing in my opinion is this thing here in between of the spruce wood border the step patterns I have there at the moment and I got in total four different kinds of them so as you can see here I have one with oak wood here is the same one with just spruce wood and back there with the birch wood and that would be one thing I would to ask you what do you think of that so please answer this in the comment design one two or three or actually not design but you know the wood or instead of that design something like this here this half of the room with the stairs going around like this and the glowstone in the middle and back here I want to use the glowstone so it would be cool if you could answer that to me so design one two three or last but not least number four so that would be cool so just write something in the comments or if you get a better idea for that room here maybe send me a picture or something like that would be awesome just post it somewhere like imger or something like that you know yeah it's I think it's written like this but anyways for now I thought let's get to work and do something with the silverfish AFK room down there so I guess I'm just gonna prepare myself and we'll see this again in a moment okay so I just announced that I want to work on the farm down there and you probably all know the basic concept you just stand there get hit by the zoofish and the dogs kill the zoofish for you that's one thing I gotta do I gotta get some dogs that's why I went out and looked for them in the other biome in the tiger biome back there in the snow one that's something I gonna do later on probably because I wasn't lucky yet and also the room down there I guess I have to start working on that and gotta figure out a design but one thing I know for sure is that the silverfish have to drop at least eight blocks so they're one hit for the dogs so see you right in a moment when I'm done with this okay that's done room is built I hope you liked it I was tinkering quite a bit around with it and there's already silverfish in there so here you can see I got one lever for redstone and this is gonna turn on and off the spawner at the moment it's turned off so lamps are on that's one thing and also I was playing around with some stair patterns as you can see down here some sort of outline with the oak wood for the birch wood here in the middle and up there some other cool stuff and I put in a bit of glowstone for lighting and some nice spruce wood this, this door here is of course just temporary I'm gonna get it out as soon as I get a nice door up back here and this is gonna pro be probably the main entrance I don't know yet how I'm gonna do it but I know I'm gonna do it in some way as you can see I already placed the button there maybe I'm gonna put another one on the other side but that's just a plan that's nothing for now for now I'm just gonna do some more things let's go looking around for dogs
Okay guys, I'm, I was looking around for wolves for about 3 hours now and as you can see, I got successful. I got a success guys. So, well, first try. So you gonna go with me. Wait, first try too. Wait, am I just lucky? Oh no, okay. Was I thinking that it just takes one try? But here we finally got some dogs. So I can continue working on this. Also had some issues because the server was down. Because of some heat issues. Because it's pretty hot here in Germany at the moment. So, dogs, you wanna follow me? Wait, five dogs? I counted six. One second, sit down. Please. You too. And now... Oh, there he is. Okay, last dog. And this is gonna be a bit painful, but actually I can see my house over there, so I guess I'm just gonna take the route over the water. Since this is one of the beacons. One of my beacons. So dogs, you wanna probably stay somewhere next to me. Okay, and I teleported there. Please teleport there. Just need to wait for them to um, get some air, otherwise they're gonna probably stuff. Eh, not stuff, but drown. Same for me, probably. Guys, you safe? Sweet. And they are here, all the way at my place. That is sweet. Okay, and they are not drowning. Awesome. So I guess I have to go down there now. And get them into my house. So I'll, I'll just do this now. Shovel. Um, yeah, this is safe. And there we are. Back at my place. All six dogs? No, wait, just four? Where did my other two dogs land? Oh, okay, so one of those guys is out here. Oh, hopefully he's not gonna land in there because then I will never ever get him back. Since when entity is in the end and in the end drops into the end portal, it will just teleport to the random location in the end. That's something we don't want to happen. So the question is now, where is my dog? So there is one of those guys. Just close this area off. You follow me. God, dog. Don't be so stupid. I guess I'm gonna take care of that. Okay, so all dogs are down here now. And I'm just gonna quickly craft the chest. Because I want to test out the system if everything works fine. And for that, I actually don't want to lose all my stuff so I'm just gonna dump it into that chest here and then I'm gonna start the system and I'm probably gonna go AFK a bit and actually I don't need to eat anything okay so this worked fine already level 34 so I guess I'm just gonna leave there and go a bit AFK as I said one second ago but I just want to see one or two more silverfish drop down and get killed by the dogs in order to make sure that the dogs actually don't take any damage. And also I'm having some ideas with the dogs, how I'm gonna transport them over here because it was kinda painful to do it right now. But with the dogs it's gonna be prob probably easier or there might be something else I could do. 
but this seems to work just fine. So I'm just gonna go AFK now and leave it run for a bit. So see ya later. Oh dear, seems like I died. I don't know what happened, I gotta do some research, but just to tell you, yesterday when I was recording the rest of the video, I, well, the thing you just saw before, I actually went to up to level 79, and today I started the computer again, and was AFK here again, and seems like I died, and I can't even press respawn, so let me quickly restart Minecraft and we'll season again. Okay, I'm back, got some instant damage, po dam damage potions, oh sorry for that, and now I'd say let's just kill some of those guys and create some lag. Okay, I gotta be quick with that. Okay, come on guys. Oh, whoa. Too much of those guys. <laughs> Oh, no, no, please not, no. Wow. Yeah, dogs, get rid of them. Oh, that's nothing I wanted to do. No, no, not good. Yeah, that's something the dogs should be capable of doing. Come. And that still looks a bit dangerous, to be honest. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do now. I know what I'm gonna do. I know it for sure. Oh, wait. I want to take my... My pig eggs. Okay, that should be good for now. And now I'm gonna just collect everything. Wait. My dogs got hit? Wait, one second. Um, let's feed them. Here, you. All for you guys. At least, oh come on, why don't they? Wow, whoa. Okay, Silverfish entered almost every block here now. That is interesting. I'm not giving my sword. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, that <laughs> that developed to, uh, developed to some sort of mess here. Uh, it's a bit unlucky, to be honest. I want to still one. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Yeah, mess that happened there. Also, maybe you want to take a look at that. Oh, probably need to get some ember pearls for this. Can still hear those buggers. But to be honest, at least <laughs> I got 36 levels back, so. Not too bad of a loss. Also, this is doable. The only thing that might be a bit worse is the room over there since this also started to fill up. As you can see here. And those guys got free too, so yeah, as I thought. 
there are probably still fish blocks all over the place here. I guess I'm gonna clear this up now and we'll see in a moment again. So see ya in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Everything is, everything is cleared up now. So down there I just replaced the stone with sandstone since I got quite a lot of it since Burnify, friend of JL, is clearing out a complete um, desert. So I got plenty of that. And I just thought, hmm, why not use it directly? Also, yeah, up there. I still need to do the ceiling, but that's about all now. Also, I think since I lost quite a few of, uh, of levels, I don't want to lose the rest of my 37 levels that I just got now. So I lose roughly 41 levels, even though you can't really say that since, you know, the XP cost per level is kind of exponential. So the higher level you have, the higher amount of XP it takes to get a higher level and to become a higher level. So I'd say let's just go enchant. I got a diamond sword. I got it from a villager, and I want to enchant it since my old one, the looting sword, I got there, with, which is pretty epic. The sharpness five, unbreaking three, and as I said before, looting three. It's about to break. Only 270 users left. So let's go back here and go right down here, and you can see wither the FM health bar so the wither is still in place and we are still using it as a woodworker so to say which is pretty cool and I guess I'm gonna turn off my sound for now there's Randolph and wait XP enchanting tables right there and what did we get oh my god this sword no, I don't really want to say anything about it. Okay, guys, I think this is it for this video. A few last mentions I want to say. As I, as I said before, please comment what you think about the silverfish room design for the storage blocks, uh, silver storage, and also what you think about this room I'm standing in at the moment. Do you like it? Is it okay? And also, one thing we learned from this is that I should do something about this thing back here because as you can see after AFK here quite a lot of time I have actually almost a third room it's filled up already or it started to fill up and I guess I have to take care of that in some way I don't know yet how I want to do it but I know I have to do it And also, I think next episode I want to do the design for it. I want to place it in all four directions. And also, I guess next episode we're gonna start work on a new big project. Hopefully. But other than that, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you next time, guys.